Hey everyone, my name is Bailey and I'm here to do a little video for you guys. Now this video is actually a kind of a review for this new recording software that I got called Mirillus Action. No, this recording software is $30, but I got it for $25 off of a link that I got from someone I've subscribed to. Um, his name is Gassy Mexican, go check him out in the description. So, uh, yeah. Um, what I really like about the software is that when I'm in game, the frames don't drop. Or, I was in League, and I maxed 30 frames per second on that, and I'm fine with it because it runs the way I want it. I like frame skip, because it reminds me I'm still playing in game. And also, I, I'm just kind of used to the look. Damn, that's a low plane. Um, but I dropped it to 20, and it was still working like pretty flawlessly. So, I'm fairly happy about that. Now, what I really like about this... Um, uh, recording software is this will be recorded after I uploaded my game vid I upload my Dust and Lysine tail playthrough uh, first episode link in the top whatever corner of the screen um, now you see you'll see three modes up here there's a uh, hang on what did I? All right. there's three modes up here I'm gonna do this completely uh, touch screen because I have a touch screen computer there are three modes uh, you can do a region of your desktop, you can do your entire desktop, or you can do uh, games and applications. Now, games and applications is obviously for games itself. Uh, so that's what I did my Dust and Elysian Tail playthrough with. Um, now, uh, the desktop is what I'm using right now, and then there's you can have the region option where you can actually just record a certain region of your desktop. So, say you wanted uh, this region up here. Like, yeah, sure, this size. Something's going on there, you want to record it. Um, you would be able to have that one region right there, just as uh, as that tiny area. So, you can't even really call this a game recording software, because it's a computer recording software, because it does everything you need, and I'm really happy about that. Now, there are other options, like uh, you can go into your sound, and uh, you can choose what you want your output for uh, your sound recording is, and you can just record sound by hitting F10. Now, videos is F9, so that makes sense. F10 is audio, and then you can even take screenshots, or benchmarking, and uh, that's F11, and then screenshots are F12. Uh, I don't honestly know what benchmarking is. I've never, never really looked at that, but whatever. I'm not too uh, interested, really. Um, now, you've got um, even more options over here, where you get, like this is general settings and obviously you see all of these you can go into your videos and use multi-core recording uh, record mouse cur cursor uh, you can do everything here you, um, you visualize mouse click so like say if I were to turn that on I'll only be able to just have an original video size okay I'm in that so so I don't know if this is working or not but it should be doing that I had to use my mouse for just this one part um, now you can also do webcams. So say if I wanted a webcam up in this corner up here, like just up here, I could actually have that. I'm not going to because currently it's 11 a.m. and I'm too lazy to put a shirt on. <laughs> um, and because I have a webcam with my laptop, I'm able to do that. I just won't do that because I don't really want to get into face cam stuff. Um, you can also set up what microphone you're recording with, and currently, obviously, my audio device is my Logitech USB microphone, when in actuality, it, it registers it as a Logitech USB microphone, but in, in actuality, it's a rock band microphone, and it works pretty damn swell. So, um, Up here, you can have certain overlays, um, like for... Um, what frames you're getting really like I'm not doing anything right now so the thing at the top is telling me that I'm maxing at zero frames a second makes sense because I'm not doing anything but I start moving it around and it starts registering frames you can't see it right now but it's now up to like 60 frames a second so there's that um, what is really cool about this is like how easy it is to really get into um, you have export settings um, hmm. Oh, yeah, you can uh, sign into your YouTube and directly export it to there, but seeing as I uh, would like to edit my videos at some point, I don't do that. Um, which actually brings me into a process that I didn't know how to do, but I will be showing you in a matter of seconds anyway. 
And here you can just set all your hotkeys for what you want to do. Plain and simple, right? So I'm just going to go back to this. And I've been re recording for five minutes now. So say I want to re uh, export this video, I would, right? Uh, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to test the exporting feature with this. Now, I would always try to convert the video to make the file size smaller, but it wouldn't work because I would bring it into Format Factory before I exported it, right? Now, oh, apparently I can't show you exporting if I'm recording. So, I'm going to stop recording with this one and um, maybe load it up in Camtasia Studio for this. So, I will be right back. In the next part of the video, I use Camtasia to demonstrate the export feature of Mirillis. My microphone did not register, so it used the built-in one on my laptop. The audio is not as good as it could be, so I would like to apologize for that. Alright, so now that I'm in Camtasia Studio, you can probably see the heads-up display up there. That's what that looks like. Now, um, I obviously have two recording software, so I still need that. But no, I had Camtasia Studio before I got this, and this came with a screen recording software, and Camtasia Studio is kind of being a bitch uh, lately, so just gonna probably use that from now on for, or I'm probably gonna use this from now on for desktop recordings, but, uh, okay, so let's get into this. Uh, there is the export selected file option, so I'm going to do that, and because this is the smallest video, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to show you each option and what it does. So the output profile is the, uh, pretty much, uh, size and height. Uh, like size and height, uh, width and height, and you can set that uh, to anything within these ranges, and you have your the opportunity to go down all of these, and it even gives you like YouTube and stuff like that. So uh, you can go to video quality, and um, you can put it to high quality, you can put it to normal quality or fast quality. Now this does nothing between the resolution sizes. It just means like if you want normal quality, that's kind of uh, average, really. If you want high quality, that's that's good. So I'm actually going to put it to high quality and see what the difference is here. Um, now you can adjust the bit rate to, uh, like you can compress the video in here. So that's like a 4 megabyte video. If I put the bit rate at 2 megabytes per second, which means it'll be really slow while exporting, it'll come out as 1 megabyte because it's doing the extra time to compress and everything. But I'm going to put it up to 16 megabytes at 400%, so that way I can have the best possible quality, really. Um, so, yeah. And then you've got your audio track, which is audio one, and you can do multi-track recording, so you can have one track and another track, and so on and so forth. Now, your output can be between stereo and 5.1. I don't know if that's just mine or if that's everybody's, but that's just what I have. And the output size is displayed down here. Uh, 16 megabytes, uh, 400%. It shows it as red because that's what it will be going up to. Or if I want it to be smaller and I want it to be compressed, it'll show it as green. Um, now, major video file sizes, if you have it at 23.866 megabytes point per second, now that's just what I have it at, and that's the highest I can go to. If it's like a really big file size, it'll generally show it lower, but if it's below, say, 200 megabytes, it'll actually show it as higher. But what's weird is when I export it, it comes out as lower. So I'll give you a small example right now. So now you see it's exporting. It's going through the process. It's uh, I got its percent little thing going there. It's going to take a bit. Not even a bit. It's going to take like two seconds. So now it's saving the file. Uh, and this is what it looks like when it's completed. Uh, it tells you the elapsed time. It tells you all the specs of what you made it, just in case you want to check and make sure you did everything correctly. Uh, so we're just going to get out of that. Gonna do that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the original file. So is this, yeah, that's the right one. So I'm just going to delete it. And now it's up there because that that file I cannot convert and make smaller. So there there was the issue with that. Actually, hang on. I'm going to open this. Uh, where, oh no, it deleted it completely. All right, I'll give you a better example then. Uh, let me minimize this and open up Format Factory. Just maximize it. I come down here. Come on, there we go. All right, so I'm going into my OS action video. Now this is the 
uh, what is it? This is the video without uh, exporting it. And this is the one that I use to show you the program itself. So we're going to just set it as WMV medium quality and size, and that's just what I need. So that's what I use it by. I'm going to hit start. It's going to come up with this little selection here. Error O times or O by 1 uh, colon incorrect function. Now, because I didn't export it, it's always going to do that. But now I'm going to load up the exported video into there, which is obviously a different video, but it still should hopefully hold up the same idea to you. So this is my desktop recording. That was for five seconds that I did before the video. So we're going to move it to WMD. Now this has already been exported. Here's the thing that, I, like I said, how it makes it smaller. It was four gig, or it was four megabytes before I uh, exported it. It said it would move it up to 16 megabytes, and then I look at this, and it's 2.44 megabytes. I don't get it. But anyway, I'm not going to import. See, this one exports just fine. So it took me a while to understand it, but once I understood it, I got it. So now we can go into my doc, or uh, let's go back into my OS FF output. And now we have the converted video down to, because it's like five seconds long and it was at two megabytes before, it's at four or three kilobytes and it works just fine. Here, I'll load it up. Open with Windows Media Player. This is finally working, yeah. And you see what I mean? It works just fine. So because this is useless video, I will delete it now. <laughs> and uh, let me empty my recycle bin. But yeah, so that's basically what I know about me realist action and how it works for me. This is a wonderful program and I highly recommend it for anybody who wants to get into video making uh, on your computer because this is a perfect program for you. Uh, but anyway, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.